Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I'd like to give you an update on my Redbubble sales, which um, have been quite slow for me, not really, not really positive um, compared to Spreadshirt, KDP or Merch by Amazon, if you've seen my other videos, um, which I highly recommend. So Redbubble is actually the platform that works um, not so well for me, especially compared to actually or most of the other platforms, even even on Zazzle and Society6, I have um, earned more money than on Redbubble. However, let's um, let's have a deeper look into it because, as you can see here, I well, I started uploading to Redbubble in November 2020, and I haven't really seen any any sales since um, until January, and then I had February sales and March sales. So that is definitely good because it shows that every month I get sales. So that started in January, later in January, and since then I have seen consistent sales, even though the royalties weren't quite where they should have been. Now, you see there, <laughs> I've only earned 273. Now, one reason for that is certainly that I put my um, royalties quite low, unfortunately. And I did that in the beginning, when I um, didn't see a lot of sales or actually no sales on Redbubble. So I was a bit nervous, which is why I reduced my um, royalties, the percentage, um, the profit margin. But I have now increased that just before I recorded this video because I felt it was much too low. I mean, um, so let's have a quick look here. So January was only 39 pence. February 188 and then March 47 pence. So it looks like that February was my best month. And you know, if you look at them um, from in terms of profit, yeah, that's true. But let's have a look at the number of sales because that paints a little a different picture. So in terms of number of sales, um, we can see that I had two, no, three sales in January, which was quite good. It started, um, it started end of January. One was unfortunately actually canceled, yeah. So the first one was cancelled, but I had um, two sales in January then. And then I had one sale only in February. And I had one, two, three, four sales in March. So the last one was actually sold um, twice. So quantity was two. Um, the biggest, so the most highest royalty um, was in February, as you probably remember from the previous um, site that I showed you. And that was an iPhone 12 soft case, yeah? But everything else was actually a sticker. So I sold in total, those were eight sales and seven of these were stickers. So that is very interesting. And I have now, as I said, just before this video, I've increased my royalties. And on stickers, I, I've even increased them more because I have the feeling that, um, yeah, for some reason, stickers go really well on Redbubble. And it feels like I need to focus on that more, but um, it, it is quite interesting. So certainly it shows an increase in sales. Um, it was in terms of number of um, products sold, March was my biggest month and it is very low still, but you know, maybe it print on demand just is a business which takes a bit longer and some platforms work better for some people and some platforms work don't, don't work so well for people. And um, yeah, Spreadshirt works really well for me, Merch by Amazon as well, and also um, KDP. I've now also seen sales on Fine Art America and Zazzle and where else? Um, I'm sure there, there's another platform, Teespring. Uh, no, sorry, yeah, not Teespring, Shirty. Yeah, um, and Redbubble is really one of the platforms, unfortunately, which doesn't work so well for me. However, in terms of number of sales now, it's not that bad, actually but I really need to um, get more profit when I make a sale. And it would be good to see some t-shirts as well or other products for some reason. Yeah, those um, stickers sell really well and pretty much every product, or most, yeah, seven of the eight products that I sold went to the United States, which is quite interesting. So there's just one more thing I would like to show you, which is um, how many fav, you know, how many favorited items I have now. So as you can see here in the top right corner, I've got um, three followers. I've got 314 favorites. So 314, some, so other people 
liked 314 of my designs and I've made eight sales. And hopefully that will increase in the future. I'm sure it will. Uh, March has already been the biggest month in terms of number of products sold. And I just would like to see some other products in, instead of just, you know, just um, stickers. It would be nice to see something different where the royalty is naturally a little bit higher because on the stickers there isn't really a lot um, in terms of royalties. And I guess this is where the, because I'm using an automated uploader to upload to Redbubble and the other platforms, this is where the advantage obviously of the uploader is that you can automate your process and you can upload to a lot of different platforms. And you know, it works for me. I've, otherwise, you know, if I wasn't doing that, I probably um, wouldn't have seen any sales on Fine Art America or Zazzle or Society6 because manually I would never upload to these websites. I would rather focus on the the ones that really work well for me, like Merch by Amazon and Spreadshirt, um, because in the end it's a time issue. But now obviously I can make sales on other platforms. However, that means that I have, a, you know, I can't really focus that much on Redbubble because on Redbubble you've got quite a bit of freedom in terms of, you know, I'd love to, um, I'd love to have more time to upload some sticker packs, you know, and um, yeah, maybe go in and, and make make a few of them as patterns and, and so on. But um, well, maybe that will come in the future. Um, we'll see where this journey um, takes me. But at the moment, generally, in terms of print on demand sales, I am really happy. It goes really well. KDP as well is a great addition to the business. And um, yeah, it seems to increase now. It seems to go really well. So um, yeah, print on demand definitely is working for me. And um, I hope I hope for you as well. So I hope this video was useful to you. I hope you liked it. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me, on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.